Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now about a year ago, I made a video about applying ACF 50 on your motorcycle, anti-corrosion formula 50. Uh, that video got quite a lot of views, but also uh, raised quite a lot of questions. So uh, stick around and stay tuned if you're in the process of sorting out your uh, bikes for winter at the moment, as indeed I am. And uh, in this video, I'll answer you the most common questions I've had about applying this stuff, ACF 50. Okay, so the first question I've made a note here that seems to come up quite a bit is what happens uh, after you've applied the ACF 50, uh, how do you go about washing the bike? Do you wash the bike or do you just leave the ACF 50 on? What do you do? Well, I don't know what you're supposed to do, but what I do is apply ACF 50 throughout the winter, uh, probably about three to four times uh, on each bike, maybe not necessarily, maybe two or three times on each bike. Uh, it's roughly, I suppose, one ACF 50 application to three washes. I don't, when I wash the bike, I don't make a point of trying to remove all the ACF 50 and I don't make a point of worrying about whether I've got rid of all the ACF 50. Uh, when you apply it, it actually bonds molecular, molecularly with the surface of the metals that you're protecting. So uh, a straightforward soapy wash isn't going to remove all the ACF 50 uh, just with one wash, but two or three may start to have an effect. So what I do every is say two or three washes, I just reapply the ACF 50, but of course you can only apply it to a clean bike, so do make sure it's a clean bike. Right, next question that I made a note of. My bike gets really gunky. Uh, do I leave it or do I wash it off? Well, again, it's, a, it's a similar to the previous point. Um, if you apply the ACF 50 really thickly, it can get pretty gunky, and it, gunky. Now, I put the ACF 50 all over the bike under the seat, which is why I've got the, uh, the seat off here, for example. So under here, it is a little bit gunky because, of course, it doesn't get washed under the seat that often. But I know that's protected. That, that gunk is ACF 50, so that's fine as far as I'm concerned. But I don't like a dirty-looking bike as much as the next man. I like a clean-looking bike. So the trick with it is is not to apply the ACF 50 too thickly in the first place. Now it's quite hard to do, you've got to really try and atomise the ACF 50. The best thing i found for doing that is one of these applicators. Now this it comes with the kit for the ACF 50. Don't buy the aerosol ACF 50, I've said this before, uh, because you just can't get it to spray properly. These little bottles do actually atomise the ACF 50 properly. So use one of those uh, and then just literally mist the bike with the ACF 50. That way you don't get such a thick layer that you'll end up getting gunk and crap and crud all stuck to it. So I think that's probably just down to over applying it. You literally need uh, microns of thickness of the ACF 50. If you just wipe it with a cloth over, that would do. So uh, I think possibly in that case, you just may be applying it a bit too thickly. Okay, next question. Uh, can I do my wheels? Uh, yes, is the answer to that. So for example, let me just come around here on the GS. I'm uh, certainly going to be doing my wheels, but as you can probably see here, I've got them covered at the moment because when I do the initial application of ACF 50, what I don't want to do is get any of the um, oil on the brakes or indeed uh, you know the brake components. Similarly I don't want it on the hand grips which is why I've got hand grips covered and I don't want it on the foot pegs either. So uh, so you cover all the bits that you're going to actually touch. You don't want any ACF 50 on that but uh, otherwise you can apply it everywhere else and certainly yeah the wheels given they do get so covered in crud definitely worth putting ACF 50 on them particularly if you have spoked wheels. Once I've done the uh, BMW I'm going to be doing my CRF and every spoke on that bike gets a coat of uh, ACF 50. Okay next question. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where do I buy my ACF 50? Well, I actually I always buy mine in bulk. And I've, again, I've said this on the previous videos. Don't buy the aerosol spray cans, which look a bit like this. Come up here, here we go. I've made this mistake in the past. These are the aerosol cans. They're quite expensive. Um, and they don't, they don't atomize the stuff really well. It just comes out in a big gloop. So you don't want that. The stuff to get is this. Uh, buy it in bulk, costs about 35 quid, something like that. And in the kit, you get this and you get the little atomizer that I mentioned. Uh, those are, say, about 35 quid. I always buy mine from Amazon. I'll stick a link below an Amazon link so you can go and have a look. You can get it elsewhere as well, but I just find it easy to get it delivered to me. The pricing is always the same, so uh, check that out if you're after some. Okay, next question. Can I spray ACF 50 on my plastics and electronics? Yes, absolutely. It's, uh, and again, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm about to spray my battery and electronics that are under the seat. Uh, it's made for the aircraft industry. It's completely inert. You can spray it on uh, any, uh, anything you like. It won't damage it. Uh, the plastics as well. If you've got these sort of black plastics, these sort of things, uh, when you spray the ACF 50 on, it goes all sort of runny and horrible. But if you just wipe it with a cloth, uh, it takes all the runs off and actually it brings up these sort of plastics looking like new. So yes, you can go for the plastics. I personally avoid things like the mirrors and the windscreen because that's going to just get smeary so I don't do it there but certainly the tank plastics these black plastics uh, certainly I do those and again electronics the stuff under the seat I certainly do and if you've got a sort of a bike that's got um, switch gear that maybe has big gaps you can do it on there as well of course being careful not to get it onto the hand grips because that's going to lead to all sorts of slippery nightmares okay that was that one next um Aren't all rust inhibitors the same um, I use muck off isn't that as good as ACF 50 well 
again, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not tied to ACF 50 in any way. I just find it's good stuff. But uh, up then, there are other rust inhibitor type products available for sure. But I think ACF 50 is the one to go for. I came across it first of all in the aircraft industry, uh, and if it's good enough for sticking on jets on aircraft carriers, it's good enough for my motorcycles. Um, the, stuff, the, the difference with ACF 50 is it's a little bit more expensive, but that's because it is actually a rust inhibitor. When you spray it on, it actually not only does it protect the bike, leaving a, a, a layer on the bike, but it also actually has a chemical reaction with the rust and actually in some cases can reverse uh, the action of corrosion on the bike. So it's not just, you're not just spraying on some oil, uh, which you know isn't a bad thing to do to, to metals to protect them, but actually you are putting on special chemicals that actually uh, stop and in some cases reverse rusting itself. So unlike some of those other products which just are an oily layer and can get gunky, this stuff actually reacts chemically with the top surface of the metal. Uh, that's my understanding anyway from the research I've done and that's why I think ACF 50 is worth spending the extra money. Uh, okay, I think that was it. Um, yeah, so that was basically it. This video, as I say, was just about some of the common questions. Those came up as a result of the videos I did previously. Uh, I'll stick links below to the uh, how to apply ACF 50 video. That gives you all the ins and outs about how you do it. So if you've not applied ACF 50 before, do go and check that video out, see how it's done. Um, and I'll also put a link below, as I say, to, uh, to where I'll buy the ACF 50. So if you want to get yourself some, uh, go and click on that link and buy yourself some. But uh, thoroughly recommend it, great product. Um, I'm doing all my bikes today. This is the second or third time I've done them this year. Um, and they're all still looking spangly and I dare not do it anymore because it's just uh, it just leaves the bikes looking great all right that's it for now just a quick uh, sort of bonus video thought that might be of use as it's that sort of time of year okay look forward to speaking to you soon until then this has been the missenden flyer cheerio